I didn't startle you. Although I'm not sure how I can startle people so easily these days, considering my size. I am awfully big and tend to cause quite a splash. <laughs> Why? Have you been looking for me? I hope not. I rather like the surprise when people find me. Those pesky sailors and pirates especially come looking for me. They're never as fun as those who get a bit of a fright when I appear. Well, first they normally get a glimpse of my tentacles drifting out of the water. It tends to scare them quite a bit. Especially as sometimes I destroy their boats for fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help myself. I'm very bored out here in the ocean. Of course I'm bored. There's nothing else to do out here but eat every single fish in sight and play tricks on sailors like yourself. Mm, don't be frightened. I can see you look quite scared, but there's no reason to be afraid. Is it because of my size? It is. Well, you shouldn't let my size upset you. No. You should let my tentacles upset you. They are very upsetting. And they can do a lot of damage to you. I could crush you right here. Oh, oh no, I'm not going to. But I like to tell people I could keeps them on their toes, and well, I am too honest sometimes. Now, I wonder what you're doing here, here in the middle of the ocean, all by yourself. That boat is awfully small to be out here in such a rough and rocky sea, especially on a day like today. The waves crashing about. Had I not have bumped into your boat, you could have drowned. Now, you should take better care of yourself, sailor. Although, I'm not sure if the title sailor fits you very well, considering your, well, now lack of boat. I'm sorry about that, by the way. I wasn't trying to destroy it. I was simply trying to catch you. That wave of there, the big one that came towards you, could have knocked you overboard. Could have had you drowning in the sea. Luckily I was here to save the day. As per usual. I'm just glad you're less squirmy than the last one. The last sailor I tried to save squirmed around and wriggled. He broke free. Well, now, he's down there. Ah, he should have known that I was just trying to help. But, again, my size can be rather intimidating to people. Hopefully now, they've learned their lesson. You know, now that they're at the bottom of the ocean. Bit light, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway. I'm sorry if my grip is too tight on you. I try to hold people gently. But I do understand that sometimes my own strength mm, slips my mind. What is gentle for me is not gentle for everyone and do you realize humans have soft, squishy bodies? I know that sometimes it can be quite difficult to hold them at the right, well, tension. If I hold you too tight, well, I might accidentally cut you in half, and we wouldn't want that. No, that doesn't end very well, does it? 
does it. But I am trying my best, I promise. And I'm sorry if my little suction grip is stick to your arm a little bit. I've tried, tried my hardest to not make it hurt for you. But sometimes my hugs can just be a little, well, squishy. And they might leave a mark. I'm sorry. It'll come out eventually though. Now is this a tight enough hug for you? Mm, that's nice. I kind of like it when I hold people like this. It's kind of fun. And I have heard from some sailors that they find it very, very pleasant to be held like this. You know, just kind of cuddled. And I know you, you're a bit damp and all, but I've tried to keep you warm, and my tentacles warm around your skin, they are, mm, that's nice, I didn't want it to be too cold for you in the ocean, because I don't want you catching a cold, This is the part where I'd return you to shore and send you on your way, but I don't know. I kind of like this. It's nice. Maybe get some of my other tentacles involved here and give you two more so I can really wrap you up. Ugh. There we go. Now, how's that? Little snug. Little hard to move little unable to wiggle free <laughs> just how I like it yeah but isn't it so calming and relaxing when you're being held so tightly like that you might not be able to move but I can gently rock you side to side like this that's nice that's calming and soothing isn't it that's relaxing here in the water. And I'm not gonna let you go, so you don't have to worry at all. The boat may be destroyed, but you are going to be perfectly safe, perfectly calm, perfectly cozy here in my tentacles. And as I gently hug you like this, you can just relax. It's okay. Hey, when was the last time you really relaxed, huh? Probably ages ago. You must have been in that boat for what, like... 20 days? 30 days? A couple months? I really hope you weren't in that boat for a couple months. There was a concerning lack of food in your boat. How did you get in that boat anyway? It's just a dinghy, so... Gonna possibly take him down from the shore. You're too far away for that. So how'd you do it, huh? How'd you get all the way out here and that one boat by yourself? Really? My my. What an adventurer you are. back to shore eventually I don't know I like your company and it's been a long time since I had something I mean someone to look after and it's nice to have a human around a human I can talk to fish don't talk to me too afraid. It is justified because I do eat them, but hey, can't blame me for being hungry. You look so comfortable like that, here in my tentacles. Is it relaxing? It is. 
look so tired. I wouldn't be surprised if you were tired. You've been in this boat for such a long time. Rowing that long can make anyone weary. So yeah. Close your eyes for a second. Constellations. Yeah. Oh, I do see that one, yeah. That's nice. See, I always think the sea is pretty right night time. Well, for you, it must have been really dark, but for me, I don't know. Sometimes I come up here and I just stare up at the sky. I can do it for hours and hours and hours. Every constellation is just so beautiful up there. <laughs> it's nice having someone to share this with. And as you look up, you can see all the different stars flickering in the sky. Huh? It's kind of nice. I do like it when I stare at them and they flicker. Or if I find a shooting star and I just follow it with my eyes. That's always very exciting. Although, normally it means coming to the surface, which you don't do a lot. Only sometimes. Normally it's only for special occasions. Going to see a boat. Mm. You know, you're pretty lucky I found you, considering how dark it is now. You might have been out here all night. Thank goodness I saved you, huh? Because now you get to be here with me. With my tentacles wrapped around you like this. Hugging you so tightly. Staring up at the sky, at the stars glistening up there like that and being calm and relaxed so peaceful so gentle so wonderful just staring up at the sky like that letting the world pass us by as nothing else remains just the stars my tentacles holding me like this. And that's all there needs to be. The gentle sounds of the waves, the stars up above, my warm embrace as I hug you like that. And that's right. Is 
it's okay if you fall asleep, I don't mind. And you might mind, considering we're still here floating off in the ocean. But it's okay. Just get as comfy as you can in my tentacles like that. And if you drift off, well, don't worry. I'll get you safely to shore. And you might feel us moving a little bit, but that's okay. Or you might not, and that's okay too. I'm gonna gently carry you to shore, okay? Alright, sleepyhead. Just relax, okay? Just let everything go, okay? Just relax, okay? do when we get back to shore. You'll probably find some place to stay. I wish I could help you with that part, but I can't get out of the water. I am a, a sea creature after all. And besides, if the people on land see me out here and know I exist, well, they'll send more harpoons than they already do. And the last thing I want to do is worry about getting shot with a harpoon. You can probably imagine it's not, not a good time. But hey, after I leave you washed up on the beach, I'm sure you'll find your way. I think I saw a, a place to stay up there. but maybe you'll be okay and they can get you back to the nearest boat and get you back where you came from you know can't live at sea forever <laughs> even if you wanted to and the sailing types like you typically want to I've never met a sailor who didn't want to stay out at sea I think just the mystery and the wonder of the ocean which cool <laughs> I mean I guess unlocking some of those mysteries and wonders is how you found me so it can't be bad can it no mm, hey you've been great company tonight I'm really sad that I'm gonna have to let you go, but maybe we'll find each other again sometime soon. Meh, you know where to find me now. Maybe I'll surprise you by popping up somewhere different next time. I don't tend to stay in the same spot, but I could maybe, just for you. And that would be nice. And then we could have this nice 